Hello and welcome to Horror Monster Collectibles where today I wanted to do a quick video for you guys where I commend a business. Now you guys know that this is a non-monetized channel so I am free to do whatever I want, say whatever I want. I'm not making a penny from this and nobody gives me anything. Um, so that way you get reviews that are honest, my honest opinions on stuff and I do that also about companies and the way they treat their customers. In the past I've been critical of companies like Prime One and Amok Time and companies like that where um, I feel like, you know, the bad experience that I've received and that I've heard about other people receiving um, should be well known. Um, so that way people who are thinking about doing business with a certain company should know that, hey, there are negatives to this company. Uh, so many businesses nowadays just block and delete anything that's negative or critical. So uh, in today's age, it's really hard to get an honest opinion um, about a company because they filter out anything that's even slightly negative. So everything about a company looks positive. With that though, I want to commend businesses that treat their customers well. And today I wanted to bring up in particular Spec Fiction. Now, um, I'm relatively new to Spec Fiction. Spec Fiction. I've been, uh, I think I like ordered stuff from them for the past year or two. Um, not very much though. And uh, I had an issue with Queen Studios Big Chap, the life-size Big Chap that they did. They completely botched it. Um, I had faith that they were going to do a good job um, based on their previous work, especially with like Marvel characters and things like that. They're really good at that kind of stuff. Um, monsters, apparently not very good at all. Um, so like when I ordered with Spec Fiction, I paid upfront in full. And um, upon seeing customers' pieces in hand, production pieces in hand, uh, I, I got very, very um, uh, disappointed in what they released. And it, to me, is crap, especially at you know that price point, which is like 4,000, 4,500. I don't remember what it was, but it was super expensive. So I reached out to Spec Fiction to see what they could do. Um, I reached out to Todd, and uh, Todd was able to help me out. Um, he went out of his way uh, to help me out, and um, I was very, very appreciative. He didn't have to do that for me at all. Um, I'm just a, a regular customer and uh, that was you know, relatively new to them, hadn't done a whole lot of business with them. And uh, he treated me very, very well. Uh, he was very understanding. And um, I was really, really happy with my experience with them and them um, going out of their way to make things right with me. Uh, even though it was nothing to do with them at all as far as, you know, it was all completely on me. On I ordered a product and I didn't, I changed my mind. I didn't like the product. Um, obviously, that had nothing to do with them, but they were very understanding and uh, they were very professional. And uh, they, again, they went out of the way to help me out. And I felt like that should be known. Um, again, I'm critical of companies <laughs> when they treat their customers wrong. But, uh, you know, I want to balance that out with being very vocal about companies who I have a very, very good experience with and Spec Fiction uh, is that company for me. Um, they went out of their way and I was very, very appreciative and uh, again, very thankful. Um, the, you know, the, again, the way Todd treated me, um, was very professional. I mean, he text messaged me on my phone and stuff and uh, just a very um, hands-on um, customer experience. I mean, a lot of these companies are so big that you really just don't get that, uh, but you really get like a personal um, service with Spec Fiction. And I think that that's awesome, especially this day and age where prices are skyrocketing and customer service seems to be just, um, going the opposite way uh, and it was re refreshing to be treated that way um, just for a company to go above and beyond um, and I think that's um, very commendable. 
So anyway, I'm going to, again, this is, they didn't ask me to do this. They don't really know I'm doing this. I just wanted to do this for you guys just to let you know if you heard about the company and you hadn't really heard about any experiences with them. Um, I had a very, very, very good experience with them and um, I highly recommend them. I will put their link uh, down below in the description. The cool yeah. thing about them is that they have, um, you know, some more obscure pieces uh, than like larger companies like Sideshow or whatever would have. And, uh, and um, you know, they, they cater kind of to that stuff. They also have like the big, you know, popular pieces and stuff, but a lot of stuff that we're, you know, as far as the US market has a problem getting like XM Studios and things like that, they're able to get in and um, you know, that way us US collectors can get that kind of stuff. And that's super cool. And uh, so they're a very, very good shop for that kind of um, collector who likes those different brands that Sideshow doesn't necessarily have. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say. And um, again, I'm very appreciative to the way you treated me. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. And I'll be happy to answer them. And feel free to like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications of new videos. Until next time, I will see you guys later.